wanted to just take a moment and share with you the Asian persimmon. Very different from the American persimmon. Uh, American persimmon is much smaller, uh, is ripe at a totally different color, um, isn't ripe until after the first frost, um, but the American persimmon is ripe when it's a dark, dark orange. And we have some here that are looking ripe. So I'm gonna pick one and we can cut it open here. And here it is, look at it. It's like as big as my hand and I have very large hands. Um, now these kind of range in size depending on how many are on the tree. So it is a, is a fruit you could thin out to get a larger fruit. Um, I have another tree that has considerably more persimmons. They aren't quite as large. They're still much bigger than the American persimmon, which I'll give you a comparison here in a little bit. And you can see this one's got some markings on it, but it's it's all right. Um, often they are a little better looking than this one. Kind of looks like a big old tomato sitting there, right? An orange tomato. Here is the American persimmon tree. You can see these little guys, they're getting this color of orange, but these won't be ripe until they're a deep um, burgundy color um, in some time from now. And you can see the size is totally different. Now let me show you a tree um, that has more fruit and the fruit are smaller. I don't know if you can see way up there, but there's a lot of yellow up there. Maybe you can see it here. And through here. Many, many persimmons on this tree, much smaller, but still considerably larger than the American persimmon. These are not ripe yet. These um, just being a different place in the yard, um, they're just not, not ripening quite yet. And that's just fine. Now, not only is size a difference between the American and the Asian persimmon, but also texture and flavor. There's a huge cluster. This tree, I had no idea it was gonna produce this many. It, it is putting some stress on the tree. Could have been thinned out. So not only is there the size difference, um, there is also a taste and texture difference. The American persimmon, when it is ripe, is going to be very, very soft. Um, this persimmon, the Asian persimmon, is gonna have a crisp texture. And it's gonna be very sweet. They're both, um, the American persimmon, really good for uh, cooking with. The Asian persimmon, great for cooking with. Also great for eating raw and fresh. Now to another tree to see if I could get a little better looking of a specimen here. Still a lot of them aren't aren't ripe yet. On this tree you can see they're starting to ripen. We're gonna give this one, we're gonna cut this one open. All right, so here we are. We have the beautiful clouds in the background. We're gonna cut this beauty open here. They're not super hard. Not as hard as an apple. Um, beautiful, vibrant orange. Oranger than a cantaloupe. It's bright. And they're, they've got a little firmness to them. And then for eating, you can just cut little slices. Um, if you want to peel it, you can. But you can just nibble on it. Uh, you can peel it with a vegetable peeler before you slice it if you want to. Um, the flavor, it's extremely sweet. Um, it has a butteriness to it. Um, and also that that crisp, that crispness to it. But um, super easy to grow. Um, I don't have any trouble with any insects and in my Asian persimmon trees. I have think five of them so they do um you know have some others around to pollinate with but they do not require a male and female um but i'm i'm sure having more than one is going to increase your production just like with with most fruit trees um but anyways hope you enjoyed this video 
maybe you'll run across the Asian persimmon to try out. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. That might be worth mentioning. Um, it is the first full week of October here in central Pennsylvania where I am at. Um, and these are just starting to ripen. Um, so I always tell they're ripe by the super vibrant orangeness to them. Uh, I have never picked them early. Um, maybe you could, maybe that's a thing, I don't know. Um, our season this year was pretty warm until just recently. So um, our fruit may be ripening a little later than it has in past years. Definitely far before the American persimmon. That's the important thing. Um, when you're comparing persimmons, yes, they are persimmons, but they are different. So like you have your early apples, you have your apples that ripen real early in the season. You also have apples that don't ripen until very late in the season, maybe, you know, two, three, maybe even four months apart, depending on conditions. This is the same idea. They're both persimmons. They're different, definitely different with texture and taste. Um, and they ripen at different at different intervals. So anyways, thanks for watching.